Well, a warm welcome to you on um, Thursday, the 23rd of September. Really good to have you with me, whether it's um, live at nine o'clock on Thursday morning or whether you're watching later on, um, as it were, on catch up. Um, really good to see you. And um, as you can see, the jumpers here again. So um, a sign of the times, a little bit cooler today. Um, but uh, you never know, maybe that will change a bit later on. Who knows? The sun might come out. Um, anyway, um, we are not remembering or celebrating anything in particular in the lectionary um, today. Um, so we will offer Psalm 57 uh, and uh, we'll be continuing our way through Mark's gospel. Um, and um, we're asked appropriately today to pray for all who care for our church buildings. Um, I say appropriately because it's the quinquennial inspection today at um, All Saints in um, Norton. And every, uh, every five years, um, every Church of England church um, has to be inspected um, physically um, just to, to make sure everything's OK and perhaps identify any work that needs doing. So um, that's um, day falls today. So um, be good to pray for that and for our buildings and those who care for them. Well, let's turn to our prayers. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all, to you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Well, we turn to Psalm 57. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for my soul takes refuge in you. In the shadow of your wings will I take refuge until the storm of destruction has passed by. I will call upon the Most High God, the God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me, and rebuke those that would trample on me. God will send forth his love and his faithfulness. I lie in the midst of lions, people whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. They have laid a net for my feet. My soul is pressed down. They have dug a pit before me and will fall into it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing and give you praise. Wake, my soul. Awake, harp and lyre, that I may awaken the dawn. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praise to you among the nations. For your loving kindness is as high as the heavens, and your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and your glory over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Mark chapter 13. Jesus says, when you see the desolating sacrilege set up where it ought not to be, <clears throat> let the reader understand, then, then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Someone on the housetop must not go down or enter the house to take anything away. Someone in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that it may not be in winter, for in those days there will be suffering, 
such as has not been seen from the beginning of the creation that God created until now. No, and never will be. If the Lord had not cut short those days, no one would be saved. But for the sake of the elect whom he chose, he has cut short those days. If anyone says to you at that time, look, here is the Messiah, or look, there he is, do not believe it. False messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce signs and omens to lead astray, if possible, the elect. But be alert. I have already told you everything. <clears throat> Stern warnings from Jesus about end times. We don't know the time and the date when Jesus will return, but we do know that there'll be great pain and suffering beforehand and we do know that many people will come claiming to be him trying to lead us astray so we need to be alive and alert fear not for i have redeemed you i have called you by name you are mine fear not for i have redeemed you i have called you by name you are mine when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Well, let's turn to our prayers of intercession as we pray for the world and the church and the day ahead of us. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Lord, we thank you for Jesus' warning about end times. We know that Jesus will return one day in a very real way to the world, return to judge the world. Lord, help us to be alert to your kingdom, your values to live our lives in anticipation of your return. Help us, Lord, to, well, to live each day as if it were our last, in joyful expectation of your presence. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. <coughs> Lord, we thank you for the church, Thank you that you choose to use your church in particular ways. We thank you for the discussions that we've had recently here in our benefice about the church, the nature of the church, why we exist. We thank you that you have made us a loving and living community of faith. And we pray that you would build us up in our faith. Continue to pray for our house groups being formed at this time, that they will grow in number. And that when they begin to function, that your, your hand will be upon each group and each individual member, that they will be a source of growth collectively and individually. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, whilst we know that the church is the community, the gathered people of God, we thank you for our church buildings, recognising their importance in the local communities, recognising the symbolic presence they have for many people. Lord, we do thank you for those who look after our buildings, for our church wardens, and for all who lovingly care for them. Especially today, we pray for the, the quinquennial inspection at All Saints, the architect as she goes about her work. And Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will enable us to learn how to use our buildings for the best purposes so that they're fit for mission in our world. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for the world around us. Today, we're asked in particular, particular to pray for local government and community leaders. So, Lord, we bring before you those who work in our local governments, in the council, recognising the, the challenges and the pressures that they face, not least financially and in terms of uh, personnel available. We pray for your wisdom and for your provision for them as they care for us. Lord, we're asked to pray for all who provide local services, thanking you for our own communities in Staple Grove and in Norton, for the shops in our neighbourhoods, for our village halls and all who look after them. Lord, we thank you for the strong community that exists in both places and indeed together in our benefice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're asked to pray for schools, colleges and universities. So we thank you for our two schools, primary schools at Staple Grove and Norton Fitzwarren. Continue to pray for your blessing and protection to be upon them, the staff, the pupils, the volunteers, governors and everyone, parents. Lord, we thank you for the links that we have with our schools. We pray you would help us to grow and to develop those links especially as we approach season of harvest time lord in your mercy hear our prayer lord we are asked to pray for those who work with young or old people so we do just that thank you for young parents those in our communities, those who we see, those who come to use the uh, groups at the community centre and those with whom we have connections through our churches, whether that be through our uh, messy church or through arranging christenings or in other ways. And Lord, we pray too for those who are caring for the elderly. Lord, we recognise the work done, whether that's formally, professionally or otherwise. We pray for your hand to be upon all of them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we're asked to pray for emergency and rescue organisations too. Thanking you for the police service, fire service, ambulance responders and indeed the coastal rescue services. So Lord, we bring these people before you and ask that your protection be upon them as they risk their, or sometimes risk their lives and make great sacrifices for us. So Lord, we pray for your blessing to be upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we bring before you those who are suffering whether that be in hospital or at home, whether that be physically or mentally or spiritually. Lord, we bring before you in our hearts those individuals we know who need our prayers. At the same time, we bring those who grieve before you, especially this week, the friends and families of Charlie North, of Pat Bartlett and of Yvonne Kershaw. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will grant them consolation, peace and strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us now. We ask that your Holy Spirit will guide us, that we may follow you faithfully and obediently. 
And so, Lord, we beseech you mercifully to hear the prayers of your people who call upon you and grant that they may both perceive and know what things they ought to do and also may have grace and power faithfully to fulfil them through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord bless us. Preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, really good to see you um, this morning and um, I hope you have a great day. Um, do join us, um, by the way, on um, at the weekend, um, coffee morning at St John's Staple Grove and um, churchyard working party as well um from 10 o'clock on yeah saturday morning um and um we have worship um at eight o'clock on sunday morning at um st john staple grove as well as four o'clock in the afternoon um and also 10 30 um uh, all age service at all saints norton so i hope you'll be able to come and join us there look forward to seeing you go well <laughs>